guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to be talking about overcoming setbacks and problems in order to get where you want to be in life and reach your grandest goals. And guys, this e I'm going to be going over an email that was sent by a subscriber. And this is a guy who's doing really well for himself. He's in his late 20s. He's got a couple degrees. He's got a good job. He's working very, very hard. This guy is definitely on his purpose. He's thinking about starting his own business one day. Lots of great things. The issue is, is this guy, it turns out when he was younger, had a lot of things happen when he was a kid, causing him to have a lot of PTSD and major depression, things like that. And in particular, when he sleeps at night, he tends to have like night terrors and freak out and all that. And definitely is having an impact, obviously, when he has women over. And, you know, when he has, he wants to, obviously he wants to have a girlfriend and he wakes up in the middle of the night freaking out. And obviously, it can be very awkward and cause problems with the woman that's next to him in bed. Because this guy's obviously into dating and relationships and all that. And so, I'm doing this particular one because, guys, this guy's look, trying to find ways to deal with these problems he has. A severe depression and all that stuff. And he's seeking help and, and uh, things like that. But he asked my advice on what I thought about that and all. And the thing is, this guy's been doing this because all of us, no matter what, either like right now at this moment or at some point, are going to have obstacles that we got to face and overcome to get where we want in life. Problem is, is that also in this day and age, it's so easy for people to put a label on themselves. Everybody's got a label and then pretty much use that as an excuse to have no accountability for their actions or to just throw in the towel and give up. And you shouldn't be doing that, guys, because everybody has problems. Everybody's got to face something and you got to learn to deal with it and continue to move on. OK, just giving up and blaming some external factor because you're not where you are in life. That's what losers do. Winners persevere no matter what. And that's what I want you guys to do, whatever it happens to be. And I get sometimes things are tough, but you got to find a way to overcome them and move on. And that way you'll have the life you want to have. OK. And this guy's definitely doing his best to do that. So I'm going to go over his story here. You're going to see what I'm talking about, and uh, we'll go from there. So he says here, Dear SSM, I've been watching your content almost since you started your channel, and I've often found your content to be, both, to be a breath of fresh air. Not enough, people take, not enough people take to any media platform and call the social engineering lunacy from Vox, <clears throat> The View, Academia, etc. for what it really is. Bullshit. Well, I'm always going to call it bullshit, bro, because that's exactly what it is. Movies, TVs, politics, media, songs, you name it. It's all bullshit. Trying to sell these ideas of how you're supposed to be. He says, a little about me. I'm 27 years old, have degrees in finance and economics, and currently work as the operations director for a small business. I work very long hours, do well for myself, and I'm planning to launch my own firm in the near future. That's awesome, man. If you have the if you have the education to whatever 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 you want to do, whatever you want to specialize in, if you got that education and you got some experience and you uh, have the strong stomach to be in business for yourself and the risk taking ability, go for it. I'm going to suggest if you're going to do do this, I would try to find a good mentor to help you along the way, especially when you're getting set up. Because I don't care how smart you are. You're not going to think of everything, okay? And so it's best to seek counsel from smart people that have been around the block and have businesses and have backgrounds to help you along your way. Just a quick tip there. He says, to use your terminology, I've got my shit together and pursuing my purpose. Objectively speaking, I'm considered attractive. I'm in decent shape and have a commanding presence. I converse well and I'm skilled in debate and philosophy, and I even become very adept at ballroom dancing before we all became extras in the Purge Coronavirus Edition. Ballroom, ballroom dancing, that's, that's unique. Hey, if you enjoy it, good for you. I wouldn't be caught dead doing dancing because I, I literally have two left feet and couldn't dance to save my life, but if you like that, good for you. A lot of women love guys that can dance and do that stuff. Play it to your advantage. He says, uh, I may have gone gray before my time, but most women think it's a sexy color on a guy. You might think that my height being only five foot six worked against me, but I found it to be surprisingly useful. A woman, a woman that is that superficial isn't even worth one drink. My time is very limited, averaging about one day off per month. So genetically automated screening is fine with me. Bro, 
If you're five foot six, there's absolutely nothing you can do to change that, okay? Unless you're gonna walk around with these super high boots or platform shoes or walking around stilts, you're five foot six, that, there's nothing you can do. So own it, okay? And no matter what, there are women that will not give you the time of day because you're five foot six. Guaranteed. But there's also women that are probably that, that height or maybe a little taller or shorter, and they're not gonna give a shit because if you are excelling in other areas, it's not gonna matter. Sure. Ideally, they all prefer six feet tall, six pack, six figure income, and six inches plus down there. But let's be honest, they're not always going to get it. And many aren't going to stop until they get that, but tough shit for them. But plenty of women, if you are doing well in all the other areas, and if you are shorter, you can still get them, but you're not going to get all. And, and this guy obviously is aware of that. And as for the graying hair thing, right now, th these days, that's actually considered sexy to a lot of women. They think they like that. So play for what it's worth. He continues, despite having plenty of advantages, according to sexual economics theory, being mentally ill has presented a problem more than once. I was emotionally and physically, I can't say the word because uh, YouTube, but uh, things happened when he was younger that weren't good. And he says, um, and as a result, he, um, he suffers from severe depression he shows very little emotion and often has violent nightmares, some but, not, some but not all which have classic PTSD traits. I don't reveal this intentionally, but when you're sleeping next to a woman, these night nightmares happen. It can be very scary for her too. I often toss and turn, sweat, talk, or yell while still asleep. And even spring up ready for a fight. To keep her from thinking I'm completely nuts, I have to explain what is going on. Forming and maintaining relationships are often very difficult as a result of these mental health issues. I am receiving help from qualified professionals, both a psychologist and psychiatrist, but the magnitude of the underlying trauma means that treatment will likely have to continue for a long time to come. I'm not the type to give up, but if we're being objective about it, this is a handicap. I know you're not a mental health expert, but do you have any advice or ideas about how to navigate dating given this problem? Thank you and keep doing what you do. All right, so basically, this guy, and I'm addressing him here, you're doing everything you can right now. I mean, that's great that you're talking to a psychiatrist as well as a psychologist. You know, one's for the drugs, one's for the therapy, and that's really good. And I'd recommend that you keep doing that, okay? I would also consider maybe, because I'm not a mental health expert, but I got family that has some mental health issues. If you can get into some kind of support group, where with people that have PTSD for shit that happened in their lives or when they were kids or whatever, you know, the type of group where you sit around a circle and talk about it, that has proven to be very beneficial for a lot of people. So I would consider talk to your doctors and see if they know of any groups that meet, you know, sometimes they do it once a week or every other week or something. Sometimes it's at churches, sometimes it's at community centers, who the hell knows. Oftentimes this is used for drug and alcohol, you know, but I would look around, I would talk to your doctor or your therapist and see, if they have any suggestions for that, that could definitely help you. And then I would, like I said, I would continue on meeting with your therapist and getting things off your chest because it will help you out over time. A lot of guys wouldn't be caught dead doing that, so I applaud you for going for that because if people need professional help, then you got to seek it. Okay, end of story, all right? And as for the women that you date, yeah, that's obviously going to be a problem if you're laying in bed and all of a sudden you start kicking and punching and freaking out in the middle of the night. That's going to scare the shit out of her. And since what I read, it sounds like this guy, sounds like you uh, obviously want to have more than one night stands. If you were just simply having one night stands and casual hookups, obviously you go you go over to the house, you come to your place, you go to hers, hook up, and you go home or you'd send her on her way. But obviously from what you're saying, you know, you want to have obviously relationships. So if you want to do relationships, you know, you're going to have to talk about it at some point. You're going to have to let her know, but I would obviously would wait a little bit before she obviously starts to like you. I wouldn't be sitting there on the first date having a glass of wine saying, oh, by the way, when we sleep together, I, I may start kicking and screaming and punching after I go to sleep. Just wanted to let you know. No, that's obviously somebody that you obviously have been dating a little while. And then when you reach the point, there could be sleepovers involved. Then you can bring it up and choose your words carefully and all that. And some women may get freaked out about that and may take off. And other ones, because they like you so much and they're understanding and all that, they'll give you a chance, okay? But you got to just keep seeking help from your doctors. I would seriously, like I said, do the 
group therapy type of thing, talking to other people. It really helps a lot of people getting their shit off their chest, especially talking to other people that had problems similar to them. Kind of helps somebody realize that they're not alone. Because even though you may know you're not alone, when you actually sit there and talk to other people and you hear their stories, knowing that, you know, in varying degrees, there are people that went through the same stuff. It can make you feel a little bit better and it will help you move along to improving yourself and getting better. So that's what I would suggest. And so guys, for you guys that are watching this, like just like this guy, this guy's got this problem. He's got the PTSD, the depression, because all the crap that happened when he was a kid, and the night terrors and all that stuff. But the point is, he's doing something about it. He's taking action. He's doing what he can, okay? And aside from my tips, you know, the, he can do new stuff, obviously, with the group therapy and uh, the big group of people talking things about and hopefully helps them out. But don't give up. To the guy who sent this to me, don't give up. Keep trying, you know, and if those things don't work, seek other options. But as regards to the women, because obviously I think this guy, he wants a girlfriend, eventually you got to talk about it. And some may be cool with it and will give you that chance. Others won't. So, but I wish you the best of luck. And so again, guys, if you have obstacles, you got, if you have hangups, you got some issues, you got to get over, don't give up. Okay. You there's always a way you got to find a way to get past it. Okay. It may take time, but there's always a way and just trying to improve a little bit every day and eventually you'll get there. That's what I got to say about that because there's no victims here. I don't want you guys to be victims and just blame whatever problem you may have for your shortcomings in life or not getting what you don't want. No, 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 no. We're men here. We got to make shit happen and overcome these obstacles. That's masculine energy. Okay. Trust me. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Any of you guys that have experience with this, please share and let this guy know because he's going to read the comments. It'll definitely help him out. Your opinions really do help people out, guys. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.